My name is Curtis Lovejoy. Uh, C U R T I S L O V E J O Y. Uh, I've been fencing since uh, 1980, 89, around 89. Um, I was introduced to, to fencing uh, one guy by the name of Joe Mueller on the first to win uh, gold medal in wheelchair fencing for USA and World Championship. In 2002, in Toronto, I became number one in 1995 in Pisa, Italy. Fishing, you know, it's boring. It's, you know, be honest about it. But you got to make it fun. You make it fun by, like, when I say make it fun, it's like, when I get a point, I'm hollering like crazy, like, yeah. Yeah, you got to come and get me now. See, if you want to win this match, you got to come and take it. You see, even when I, when, even before they, uh, they eliminate the teasing thing and save them, when I used to do the little teasing thing, oh, here I am, come on. And I'm talking not to antagonize them, I'm trying to get them off the game. See, the fear, you see fear in people's eyes when you're watching them in their eyes. When I got a good lick on somebody and I saw their eye switch, oh, it's over with. You just gave me a sign that, that the match is over with. Cause I hit you back in that same spot again. Oh, that's it. You doomed. You never switch your eyes. You never act like it hurt. When you act like it hurt, it's over with. It's a sign of fear. Cause you won't get hit like it no more. Out of all my years of fencing, FA I never been hit hard. Saber I never been hit hard. There was a fencer by the name of Benji Williams. And he don't know that, he don't know this today. I broke a lot of people's thumb, hurt a lot of people. People take their jacket off, they got whips and scars all on them. I even had um, Kyle Sekerich from Hungary. When at the time he was a he was a, he was a, he was a gold medalist for that country until he became disabled. Came disabled, became another gold medalist as a disabled. Fencer. But when I fenced him, he never wanted to fence against me because he said I used the weapon as a weapon. I wasn't trying to use the weapon as a weapon. It just happened that way. And even time when he, he's in my pool bout, he would go to the to the uh the bow committee and get himself out of my pool bout. He never wanted to fence me. Now that I see him now, he don't retire. He said, I'm glad I'm not fencing anymore. But the thing about it was that they made you better. But Benji William hit me one take one day so hard doing practice at Shepherd one day. And uh, I said, I'll never get hit like that again. Never. I didn't switch. I waited later on after the match was over, had five, three or four more ba match, went in the bathroom, locked myself in the store. I said, oh my God, Jesus, that hurt. Ooh. See? But it's, it's not saying a sign of weakness. It's just you, you're studying your, the person you're looking at. And that's what it's all about. And then when you're looking face to face with somebody and you see that, the eyes, you, you can tell who want to win, who don't want to win. It's in the eye, like the eye of the tiger. It, it, your eyes do not tell a story. I'm not saying you're weak, not tell you're strong, but the eyes tell the story. If you watch them and see what they do. So how I get more points? Because I want it. I want this bad enough. And he gonna get a point on me, you better come and get it. That's just, the, that's, that's the bottom line. You want it, you gotta come and get it. But I'm gonna do everything in my power not to let you get a point, that I get that point. Even if I'm, e even if I'm doing two moves, mm -hmm. I gotta add a third move to beat him. That's where it come in at. Or if it take a fourth move, conversation with the blade with him. Because the more he worked, see, when he fenced me, he's sweating. He's sweating with the rest of them other guys because they ain't making him work. So even if, even, even, even if I fence him before getting to the gold medal match, I'm fencing somebody, I'm fencing him to get to the gold medal match. He knocks me out of the gold medal match, okay? But then again, I'm setting him up for the person who's going to meet him in the gold medal match. He's already exhausted himself 
working sweat like a dog, so I set him up for you. So now take the advantage of it. Mental, the mental piece is no more saying you find a way. I have to ask you to say, it's not about winning, it's winning at the right moment. You choose and pick the right moment. You win when it costs the most. It's something within you to make to trigger something. Yes, you prepared your body. Now you're in a mind game. See? And a lot of times is your opponent got to see something he ain't never seen before. Was a flick and you ain't never flicked before, but you just tried it. And you probably looked up and got it. That's okay. But if you got that point, it's in his mind. He looking for it again, so you set it up. Hopefully you fake, a, you fake the flick and go on. It's those kind of things that we have to seize the moment of doing that. So either way it goes, you're trying to figure it out. If the setup don't, don't, doesn't work, it's the matter that that didn't work. And next time is it, if I can get him off his game where he's moving back too far. A lot of times it's a setup to the point that instead of saying ready, set, fence, and pull back out of the way, no, ready, set, fence, go forward. Fake like you're going to go back and go. It's, those, it's a chess match. Only person I know is good at is set up and he don't fit anymore is Scott Rogers. One of the best setup person. He, he sets you up excellent. You prepare yourself for moments like that. What you gonna do, what you gonna say, how you gonna do it. But it never turned to where you thought it would be. But you did live for the moment and you prevail. So every, every time it's, it's a little different. You know, Lou Gaines, Michael Jordan, uh, Michael Phelps. There's only a few limited people been in the zone. I've been there. When you're in the zone, you're unbeatable. No matter what come at you, they can't touch you. A lot of athletes can't say that. They fighting trying to get back in that zone again. You don't choose when it come, it just come. When God want to bless you with, it just come. Because you don't pay your dude, you don't sweat it, you don't practice, you did everything you possibly can. Prepare for that moment.